so bitey and so playful and full of energy and he's such a little mommy's boy everywhere I go he follows I'm so close and stepping on him because he literally walks in between my legs every step that I take it's Tuesday today so we've had him since Saturday but we've been home since Sunday ah, ay, ay, ay. Ow. Ow. since we did have quite of a long trip but it's going really well so far this night was his second night here and he did really well the first night he was crying quite a bit which is totally understandable but he's doing better he does not like to be where me and daniel are not so if he can't see us he starts to cry oh, for a baby come on stop biting no 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 biting no biting he loves to bite my feet. He likes to bite my slippers. Ow! And he loves this Monstera, which we already knew. And he has already taken a few bites of it. So, I mean, I've been getting all of the pieces out of his mouth, luckily. Are you gonna go get daddy slippers? I don't think he likes them as much as he likes mine. So this is the little crate situation we did tonight. At first, or like the first night, we had the crate down here on the floor. Um, but he cried so much that Daniel had to go down and sleep on the floor next to him because Frost did not like when he couldn't see us. So last night Daniel was like, I don't want to sleep, <laughs> sleep on the floor again. So we put, we put some chairs up here and it worked really, really well. And he was not crying so much this night and he did not wake us up so many times this night either. So we think that this is the solution we're gonna have to work with for the next few weeks until he settles in a little more and getting more potty trained. But it's kind of cozy because we can see him and he feels more comfortable. So I think someone is getting a little tired. We got up 8 a.m. this morning because that's when he gets his breakfast. <music> Unfortunately, I didn't film so much when we were in Portland, which is a little boring. But when we picked this little guy up, he was a little anxious in the car. And he had a lot to get used to because we had a really long and busy day ahead of us. So I just wanted to make sure that he was comfortable and uh, we're doing okay. So I did not film anything. And then we also did meet up our friends in Portland, which was so much fun. Because I had not seen her in seven years, which is crazy. Um, so we had a really good time with them. We did have a night flight back home, so we had 12 hours in Portland. So we checked out Portland during the day. Yes, yes we did. Um, and then we had a night flight back to Chicago and we, that was not fun because we got up. Um, we flew out Saturday morning, so we got up at 5 in the morning to get ready and go to the airport. And then we land in Chicago like on Sunday morning 6 a.m. So we were back home at 7 a.m. So we had been up for a little over 24 hours and it was tiring. Today is the fourth day that we've had low frost and it's been going well. He is really, really needy and he does not like being alone at all for not even a minute. So it's a little tricky um, now in the beginning, but we're making it work. So whenever he's taking naps, because he does take a few of them uh, during the day, I just have to, you know, clean the apartment and do all the stuff that I gotta do because he does not like being alone when he's awake and he follows me everywhere I go, which is so adorable. So yeah, 
this is fast and you're gonna be seeing a lot more of him in the future i did also get a request from one of you on one of my previous videos asking if i could uh, film a what's in my puppy travel bag and i thought that was a brilliant idea so i'm gonna attach that here in the video as well and now since we have already picked up our little puppy i feel like i can kind of give advice on the stuff that we brought and if there was anything that was kind of like missing or that i kind of wish we brought instead of something else now when i know how everything went so let's take a look at what we had with us when we picked up our puppy i got some company someone who wanted to join me filming our little puppy travel bag frost wants to join in the video but you have to stop biting no biting okay so since we did pick him up with airplane we had to have him in this little dog carrier so this is what we what we brought him in and um I was a little concerned first, not knowing if he was gonna fit in here because I, f I thought that this looked kind of small and I didn't really know exactly how big he was gonna be at eight weeks. But luckily he had a lot of space in here, so it worked out great. So we used this one and he did so well and I think he really liked it because he didn't, he didn't really protest it. We did also bring this uh, water bottle with us because we wanted him to be able to drink during the trip. And this one is so smart that you can just, it's a silicone cup that you just flip over. So you just flip it open like this and then when you squeeze the water bottle, it fills up with water in the little cup. And you probably <laughs> can drink just like that. And then when you let go of the squeezing, it goes back into the water bottle. And it also has a little uh, lock here so you can open and close it. And this was super convenient to have because that way we didn't spill any water. And when he didn't drink everything, we, we didn't waste anything. So it was super convenient. And then you just back pop it back down like that yeah i really won't let me do this alone no 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 i think you want to go travel again huh do you baby another thing that we also brought with us was this blanket he wouldn't let me film so i had to Give him a little treat. But we mainly brought this so we could rub this on his sibling so he could find some comfort in it when we were traveling with him in the carrier. And the trip and everything went fine. And I would use this little blanket in his crate where he sleeps at night. We did also bring a bunch of pee pads because we kind of expected him to have accidents. He did not have so many accidents at all. He actually didn't have anyone in the carrier, which is very surprising because we were kind of expecting him to have a lot. And then we also brought these uh, little foldable food bowls with us so we could feed him throughout the, the day so this is how they're looking and we brought two just in case we also brought a little chewing toy for him he did not play with this at all during the trip so maybe we we should have brought a little stuffed animal instead but then again i think he was just in shock when we picked him up because it was a lot happening new people you know a little dog carrier to be in so I don't know if it was the fact that he didn't like this toy because he likes this toy now. Uh, I think it might have just been that it was so many new impressions in such short time. That was the only thing that he kind of didn't really use so much. We did also bring a few roll of poop bags because we did not know how many accidents we should expect when picking him up. Uh, he did not have any at all so we didn't have to use these but we brought them just in case. We did also bring a collar with us. This is size medium and this was way too big. We actually had to stop at Petco in Portland to get him a smaller one and we... It was good that we brought him with us inside because we were kind of looking to get a small but we ended up getting an extra small because his neck is just really thin it just looks thicker because of all the fur and for the color we also brought this leash with us that has a holder for the poop bag roll we did also bring some treats with us he did not like these i think they might have been a little too big for him or just the fact that he was overwhelmed in general so he did not eat them at all now he likes treats a lot good boy yes good boy good boy frost we did also bring some wet wipes with us in case he would have any accidents. We did not have to use them at all during the trip because he didn't have any accidents, which was really good. And we did also bring some food with us, the puppy food that he was eating at the breeder. We also bought that one so he would have the same food when he came back home to us. So he wouldn't get an upset stomach from trying a new food so fast. I think that's everything that we brought with us. It is definitely a challenge filming with a little puppy running around because he wanted to be in all of the clips that I filmed today. But I hope you kind of got a good idea of what we brought with us in the puppy travel bag 
And like I said, the only thing he didn't really like to use was his toy, the chewing toy that we brought. But I think that was because he was overwhelmed and a little anxious too during the whole trip and being in the dog carrier for most of the time. But everything else that we brought with us came in good use. Please let me know if you have any other questions about bringing home a little puppy with airplane and I will try to answer as good as I can. I hope you like this little mini travel vlog and also meeting Frost for the first time. He is going to be in a lot of the future videos that I'm going to be uploading here on the channel. Take care and I will see you in my next video next Sunday. Bye.